Are you trying to figure out if you should or shouldn't find somebody to help your child? Maybe they had a hard time last year at school, maybe a family member, teacher mentioned something to you and you're kind of sitting there figuring out like, do I need to do anything about this or can we just let it roll under the table? I'm going to make this easy for you. I have one question that I want you to ask for yourself. Which kind of parent am I? I'm gonna talk about three different kinds of parents that I see, that I work with, and at the end, you are gonna ask yourself, which kind of parent am I? And I think that'll help you answer your question as to if you should pursue, look for a resource, a person, or maybe you can even help your own child. So, first kind of parent I see, I'm gonna call them the same Z's parents. They, you know, the fruit doesn't fall far from the tree, they are pretty much exactly mirror image of their child. Same personality, same parenting traits, same strengths, and the same weaknesses. So if you are this kind of parent, it's really hard for you to help your child with fill in the blank, whatever they're struggling with, because you're also struggling with it. So number one, you may not have the skills yourself to really teach them how to work through this. And number two, a lot of times it ends up being really triggering for the parent to see that their child is struggling with the same thing that they're working so hard and they may or may not have, have mastered. So I usually think this parent does best outsourcing the help or getting some really good resources that can kind of hand hold you anywhere from the mindset to the actual skill set. Second kind of parent is they're the exact opposite of the child. Let's say, for example, the child has a hard time being organized, keeping track of their stuff, um, is super chill, relaxed, easygoing, um, but it's kind of like scattered. Uh, if parent is the exact opposite, meaning they're not super flexible, they are super organized. Whatever the skill is a child is struggling with, they have it mastered to a T. But here's the caveat. They are also not that easygoing, flexible personality. So if that's you, you will probably end up being super frustrated as well and being stuck in the, I don't get it. I don't understand how you don't get it. Um, and it may even end up um, with criticizing your child instead of helping them because you just don't understand why they're not getting it. Why are they having such a hard time with something that's so easy for you? And again, this parent uh, is not as flexible and easygoing. So this parent should definitely outsource. And again, even like parent number one, if you got some really good resources that really did some hand holding and started, you know, back things up a little bit and started with mindset and perspective i think that you would be able to um to get through it just keeping in mind this really may be triggering for you the third parent um they are also the opposite of the child but this is what parent number two didn't have they're very flexible they're super chill they always come to things like hmm i wonder why this is going on so that's a little bit different versus like i don't understand why this child doesn't get these. So they will. this will probably not be as, as triggering for them. So this parent, I feel, would do great with uh, parent coaching, with some really good resources that hold their hand through the skills on how to, how to teach them. And of course, they can always outsource the problem as well, uh, the help for the problem as well. So hopefully, now that you've heard about the three different kinds of parents, you can ask yourself, okay, which kind of parent am I most like? And you'll be able to do what's next, which is either outsource 100% the help for the child um, or find some really good resources that will coach you through it. But keep in mind, you want them to also be sensitive to the differences in your personality versus your child so that it ends up a learning experience versus a huge act in frustration for both of you. All right, friends, next video below will really show you the how and the what to do to develop your child's executive functioning skills.
Hope to see you there.